Hey guys, Bozier 90 here. Um, the reason why you're seeing a video this early um, throughout the week right now is because uh, recently I just came to acquiring the uh, DX Peter Fantagista Wonder Ride book from the newest toy line for Common Rider, this being Common Rider Saber. Now I've already talked about saying how excited I was for this line, so when I saw pre-orders for this thing already happening, I figured why not uh, go ahead and make purchase on that. Um, like with Lost Riders, before the show begins, they always release a gimmick item, whether it be for a power of form or a form for another rider, right before the show begins. Uh, this has been a tradition in Kamen Rider since Kamen Rider Ghost, I want to believe. So yeah, it's been a tradition since 2015, and we've been going pretty strong. Now, normally I wouldn't look at the uh, boxes, because I feel like if you've done a review on the box once, you've seen them all, and you know them all, you know how the rhythm goes... But I know probably somebody's going to say, oh, you didn't include my favorite part of the video. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the box here. So, on the front image, we have Kamen Rider Saber in the Peter Fantasia um, side, as well as the Brave Dragon side, which is on the left side. Unfortunately, though, uh, this is just this is supposed to debut the uh, this form here. So, uh, yeah, it makes sense, too. On the front here, we have Peter Fanta Fantagista. On here, we have uh, the kanji for the... DX um, toy and everything like that. Right here we have just the, um, the say, saying that it's uh, DX and has sounds on it because these toys do not have lights and sounds throughout the whole line. It's probably the first time that we've done this for Common Rider. Uh, DX Wonder Ride book, obligatory product shot. Um, on the this side of the box, um, just shows what it can do when you hit the button. What do you do when you uh, open it up? On the back, we got your obligatory copyrights, all that stuff. And right here we have the basic. Um, information that you get when you put it into the driver. You can see when you put it in on the back, and when you open up the sword, you get uh, bonus sounds and such. Nobody has, uh, everybody who's already gotten this thing early back in Japan, they've tried to hack it to activate these uh, bonus sounds, but surprisingly, no luck. Yeah, on the bottom, more copyright knowledge, all, all of that. On the side of the box, though, this is what I really find really interesting about the packaging for this year. It's that um, it actually um, looks more like a book spying with the symbol for the rider as well as the side for the uh, form and everything. This is Saber in the Brave Dragon form, so naturally this would go with uh, Saber as well as the text for Common Rider uh, Saber, or at least the text for the actual toy. Now, uh, MGO316 had uh, pointed this out when he posted his review that if you turn the box sideways and in, and in the um, language of uh, the saber uh, of sabers uh, words and everything you get dx peter fantagista wonder ride book so uh yeah that's pretty much all that there is left to say about it so let's go ahead and continue on with the overview and here we have the dx peter Fan fantasta wonder ride book now, as you can see here, it's very intricate in the molding detailing. As you can see, there are a lot of details that make this thing look like a real book. We have the belt clip loop to indicate that this thing is going to be uh, tied up. So that way, when you open it, it gives that illusion. Uh, we have some molded detailing to represent there's actually multiple pages in the book. On the back here, uh, basic back detailing, battery compartment there for two LR44s. Big speaker right here, a very loud speaker. I do say so myself. On the side we have your basic spine detailing as well. Uh, text here, which I don't know what it says unfortunately. I think that's just molded in for unknown reasons. And of course we do have a little bit of uh, silver paint here to represent the book opening up. Now at first I thought this was just a random little blotch of uh, paint there. But I looked at the uh, pre-orders for the Seikon Sword Driver and apparently this little bit right here is actually contains an NFC chip. And basically what you do is that you would scan it onto the swords and basically um, it would just activate a new sound and everything. So yeah, basic detailing on the bottom here, we have two, three buttons. This is the main activation button. This is the button that will open up all the pages and this is the button that's gonna activate other sounds as well. So yeah, before we get into those though, let's take a look at the uh, main art for the cover. A very majestic, very fantasy-like. Uh, we have the moon there, we have Peter Pan, we have Wendy, we have uh, Captain Hook and we have Tinkerbell there as well as some daylight there alongside a mountain as well as um, three little boxes here red arrows pointing on this box because that's supposed to indicate 
when you do get the sword driver, that's supposed to go into the third slot there, and then it's going to activate a bunch of other sounds and such. And I and uh, MGO316 also mentioned in this video that if you turn it sideways, you get the name of the book as well in the Saber language, which is Peter Fantista and Common Rider. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty n nice cover art. Definitely um, very majestic for the first time that this thing's being released early. Um, okay, now if you open it up, you do get some more detailing on the inside cover. Unfortunately, I don't know what all of this says, but I'm pretty sure somebody will uh, point out the uh, what it says when the molding, when the time comes. I also forgot to mention that there's actually these little uh, holes and gapes in the plastic, so that way it can just show through the basic art a little bit more. Anyway, so opening it up, we do get really uh, bright and really, uh, really intricate and well-designed artwork as well. Uh, here we have Peter Pan, and here we have Captain Hook just giving themselves the old stare down with the stars in the sky. Very reminiscent of Q Ranger, in my opinion, with the whole star aspect in the space and all that. And uh, if you turn it sideways, you do get uh, more of that writing. You get Peter Fan Fantista, you get Hat on top of Peter's head, and you get Hook for the Hook hand for Captain Hook. You also do get their names, Captain Hook and Peter on their respective characters here. And you also do get a code, a QR code right there for the Gamba Rising game. I think that's what this text says, Common Rider Gamba Rising scan or whatever. Personally, I don't really like how that's there. It just sort of blotches out the main art feature for, uh, for the main art here. Because personally, if you do want to have this as a wallpaper, this is gonna be a huge, like, just, it's just gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's get to these three buttons here. This is going to activate all these sounds in the uh, for the book and, of course, for all the other toys. So when you hit the bottom button here, you get this. That's when you're taking it out. Very cool. Very uh, magical in that aspect. I really love that little, like, echo at the end and the little wand wave at the beginning as well now now this secondary button does activate the other sounds such as describing the story because if you see in the trailer they open it up and it just explains the story how they do that is that there's actually a little notch right here at the end of the cover and basically what you do is that when you open it up and if you open it up far back um there's a little there's a little uh, cavity here a little hole that can uh, open it up, and that way when you push it back, you activate the other sounds. So when you hit that little switch, you get this. That text alone is really, really good. I really do love the voice. For all the book, for all the Wonder Ride books, and for the toys and all that so far, really good. And uh, what that translates to is a story of hopes and dreams of a boy who never grew up, because that's the basic story for Peter Pan. Overall, just a really great tune, really great uh, little dialogue there. Really nice painting, really nice dark teal, really nice box art. I really do love uh, the feel of the Wonder Ride books, and I really do love the shape of everything. So for a comparison, for those who are wondering, here is the DX Shooting Wolf Progress key. As you can see, roughly the same height. Okay, maybe not because the Progress key is just a few inches taller, but they're roughly the same height. Uh, same size, only by a little bit is the Wonder Ride books smaller than the Progress keys. But overall, just a really, just really nice overall feel, but yeah, that's your comparison for those who are wondering because i'm never going to do that again so like i mentioned in the intro i got mine off the Toku collectibles for a really good price if you want to go ahead and place a pre-order for the uh, dx saber toy stuff and you want to go ahead and buy the peter fantasia wonder ride book as well i'll leave a link in the description below for all the common air saber toy listings as well and of course as, and of course they also do have the uh shogun or in this case the candy toy versions of the wonder ride books also on their shop as well 
So if you want to go ahead and pick those up, I'll leave a link in the description below. And overall, I'm really excited to see how this toy line will go for the future. And for those who are wondering, yes, I do have the pre-order for the uh, um, Seikon Sword Driver and the Suisan Sword set, as well as the Belt Clips and the Jakuno Domageki uh, Wonder Ride book as well. So when those come in, I'll do a triple review and I will go over everything that this little guy has to offer. Because in case you didn't notice, I never opened it up because this third little button here is supposed to open up the rest of the pages to show the um, extra artwork that it comes with on the box. So yeah, overall, overall, I'm really happy to see this go full, see this go forward. I'm really happy to see what this has to offer in the future. And overall, I just really do like the book. With that being said, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you like this video, leave a like and a comment below, and tell me your opinions on Kamen Rider Saber as a whole, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.